In today's Mad 21 tip video, I'm going to be breaking down what I believe to be one of the best or two or three of the best actually coin making methods in Mad 21 right now that can help you uh, make more coins so that you can buy better players and ultimately win more games. If you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my name is Cody and I post four videos a day here on YouTube that are designed to help you with some type of tactical strategy tip or concept either in gameplay or in mutt to help you um, be better and become a better player in this game now uh, and if that interests you real quick I do want to encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right of the screen also there's a notification icon a bell icon that you can click that way you get notified whenever we go live we live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time showing our strategies and concepts in real time all right, so let's talk about uh, coin making methods. So I've got about 500k here, which is okay. Had to completely restart over my team. And uh, anyway, let's just jump into it. So first and foremost, there's two specific things that I want to talk about. The first one is a solo challenge that you can do. Actually, a, a plethora of solo challenges that you can do, but it's basically the Legends Challenge. And you see here, what I can do is I can go down to any of these, any of these legend legends right here, and I can get the power up for all of these players. Now, power up cards this year are going for a lot of coins. And so I'll show you that in the auction house. But basically you do these challenges. Basically all you gotta do is you've gotta complete a game. And what's gonna happen is you can win a game. I've got videos and strategies about how you can basically get through these games really, really easy uh, on offense and on defense. I do wanna show you what these power ups are going for and this is this is the really the important part of this and what I would honestly do is I would sell these cards either um, you can sell them either today uh, or you could wait and sell them on Wednesday normally on Wednesday they're actually a little bit more um, they're actually a little bit more uh, worth it but you can do like the Michael Vick you can do the Deion Sanders uh, power-up card and if you don't plan on using those uh, if you don't plan on using those cards well, then I would just sell these power-ups you see here there's 20k for Deion sanders uh the denza or not the denza award the um i think the asante samuel one uh is still going for a lot of coins let me show you that real quick yep thirty thousand coins you see how these are all going for a lot legend power-ups are still going for a pretty significant amount of coins so you could literally um to me you could make probably at least 100 to 200k just by doing this method within one day because it doesn't take that long to do the solo challenges and then you could be selling those uh, you see here the Mike Vick one is down a little bit it's actually down a lot from yesterday but like you could do the Lawrence Taylor I mean all of the legend ones that come out you can do these power-ups do the the solo challenges then sell the card and you'll see like um, the Lawrence Taylor one let me see if I can find uh, the power-up for him but the right outside linebacker Lawrence Taylor is going for 15k and again you can just do this this will stockpile on itself um, but this is a pretty solid one uh, and it's one that I think is going to continue to be consistent for you uh, people are not going to want to do the solo challenges so they'll just buy these for 30 to 50 thousand coins a week so that's one of the things that I've been doing it's it's made me about uh, 500 thousand coins in two days uh, of doing that method right there now the next thing I want to talk about is sets so um, I don't normally recommend doing sets. Um, all the advice that I've ever been given on mutt has been don't, you know, most of the time the sets aren't worth it. But there is one set that I believe there's actually there's a couple, but one specific set that I think is actually really, really worth it right now. And that is the the 50 exchange um, or not the 50 exchange set, but the 50 week one. These sets right here. Um, you see here I'm working on the Brian Dawkins, the Namdi Asamuga, uh, or Asamoa, the Reggie Wright, uh, even the Reggie Bush. Tyron Calico is definitely worth it. But basically what you do is you add 81 uh, overall fresh players into this mix here. So uh, what I could do, you see here, I have a couple in my item binder. So literally, you know, I'm just getting these as I rank up through the solo challenges. And let me show you, there's solo challenges that you can do that are just got added into the game. Now, the reason this is powerful, in my opinion, is what you get is you get the 91 overall card and you get the power up. So you can basically flip this set for probably about 200 to 250,000 coins. I learned this from Bangsy on YouTube. I don't know if you guys watch him, but you can just give him a search. But he put me onto this method uh, late last night. This is pretty effective. Uh, let me show you how much, and the reason that this is important is because the power up cards that are in those sets, you can't pull those in packs. 
And so those power-ups are going to be going for a lot more coins. This, to me, is probably the best coin making method right now because look what i can do for brian dawkins so i can put, sell his power up for literally two hundred thousand coins i can sell his power up right now for two hundred thousand coins on the market and then what i can do is i can take his 91 overall version and he is going right now for about 400 uh 430,000 coins so you're gonna profit or, or you're gonna make about six hundred and fifty thousand coins doing this method and i'm just telling you right now it's probably going to cost you, um, it's going to cost you roughly, if the math that I did is correct, it's going to cost you about 350 to 400K to do the sets if you don't do the solo, if you don't do the solo challenge. So you're still going to profit about 300 to 200 or 250 to 300K if you don't do the solo challenges. Now, if you do the solo challenges, let me show you these solo challenges right here. You can do these every single week. This is going to work consistently. This is going to be going forward. This is going to be a really good method. But basically, it's the 50 challenge. Um, you can do the weekly 50. You see here, I've got a couple more to do. It's going to give you a non-actionable fresh player. Well, you can do it with those players. You can then put them into the set and get that card. Um, I can also do all of these 50 challenges here. You see, I've gotten a lot of 81 overall players i've got to do a couple of more here to finish out the tier but you see what i'm talking about with this these solo challenges take very very little time to do you're going to profit significantly at this i stand right now to probably make about six hundred fifty thousand coins just off brian dawkins alone and you can do this for other players it's not just brian dawkins and this is what's so cool about it is that you get the power up and the card um to me that's what makes it so so effective one other web method that you could do to do that if you wanted to do something like that one thing you can do is you can come into the store here go over to the auction or to the mutt head store or to the mutt store and basically what you're going to do is you're going to do these get a player packs these 62 overall get a player packs and essentially what you're trying to do is you're trying to roll uh for a power-up card okay if you don't get a power-up card if you just get those silver cards then what you can do, and you can do, it'll take you a significant amount of time, but you can do this while you're watching football. That's what I plan to do today while I'm watching Sunday uh, Sunday uh, morning and Sunday afternoon football. This is what I plan to do. But basically what you're going to do is once you start rolling those get a player packs, which those are always, in my opinion, those are the most consistent coin making methods throughout all years, uh, what you can do. But you can go over here into these player exchange sets, and I can exchange those silver players up to the 75 to 79 overall gold once i get a 79 overall gold then what i can do is i can come back over into my 50 series here go to the 50 exchange set and then every eight times i get a gold player i throw it in there all of this can happen for very very low cost on your coins what i recommend doing is is get a critical mass of coins by doing the power up method that i talked about by doing the solo challenges and selling the power-ups. From there, you're gonna get probably, if you do all of those solo challenges that I'm recommending, you could probably get about 300,000 to 400,000 coins if you do all of the legends, if you haven't already done them. Okay, from that point, once you've got a critical mass of coins, then you can do the get a player packs and basically roll those into these 81 overalls. And if you pull good power-up cards, you can easily just auction those off on the block because every now and then, and, and what I have heard is the packs are your odds of getting better players and packs are going up significantly so to me this is one of the best coin making uh, methods on the market right now and then one last one i did want to cover that i have never that i've really i did not know about until uh, somebody told me about this but if you go to browse the store uh one of the methods you're going to do if you have a plethora of training points right right now you see i have nine thousand training points um you can and you can go on Mutthead and get you know you you can easily get those uh, fairly quickly, but this is what I would this is what I would recommend doing. I would recommend doing either these alt offensive playbooks fantasy packs, alt defense playbooks fantasy packs, or just these base playbook fantasy packs. Why? Let me show you what's going to happen here. So I'm going to buy one with with 150 training, okay, um, and then you'll see here. So I'm going to get this 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 offensive playbook. This is going to work for you pretty quickly, in my opinion. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to go through, you're going to see, okay, here's all these playbooks that I can pick. 
So what's a popular playbook that people are going to want to run? You see, you can basically pick any of these playbooks. So one of the ones that I think a lot of people are running right now is Seattle. Uh, another one is the the Raiders, right? So Or the Patriots. You can pick any of these. It doesn't really matter. Um, as you go through and do this over and over again, you're going to find out what playbooks are the most amount of coins. But anyway, I'm going to grab the Seahawks playbook. I get a daily objective for 2,000 2, coins. And this literally is taking, I mean, you're calculating, this is taking like five to 10 minutes. So then what I'm gonna do, come back out, go into my item binder, and then I'm just gonna sell this uh, playbook and it's gonna profit me uh, typically, you know, I'm not exactly sure off the top of my head because it does vary playbook to playbook of what you have, but I'm just gonna search the auction for it, see what it's going for. It's going for 4K, so I just made you know, about four to five K off of that. Now, granted, I, I again, this is only what I would do only if you have a plethora of training points. But to me, you know, you make four K in five seconds, you go back and flip it over and over and over again. And what you'll find is if you if you go through the playbooks, you know, I could go through and figure out what are the ones that are most what are the ones that are worth the most and then i could just buy those on the on the training and go that way so those are a couple of coin making methods the ones that i would recommend you start with okay the ones that i recommend you start with are doing the power up solo challenges and then doing the get a player packs let me show you what the get a player packs odds are so basically what I'm going to do, let me just show you this real quick while I have you on here. If you guys haven't jumped in the Discord yet, be sure to do that. Um, you can do that by clicking the link in the description uh, below of this video. But just do these get a player packs right here. So you get a, a 62 or better. So, you know, I'm just going to do this. And literally, if it's a silver, I'm just going to back out. And this does not take very long. Again, you're, you're, you're putting in 500 coins. You're always going to profit. These silver players are worth... Uh, at least from my my uh, research, those are worth a lot of points. But see here, you get this gold player, and he's worth like you know two thousand to three thousand coins. And you just do this over and over again. And then what happens is once you have a plethora of players, then you go through the exchange sets, and then you look you rank it up just like that. So to me, this is probably the most consistent one. This is the one that is easiest. But the solo challenges are also very good as well to do those. But I recommend both of those guys if you're wanting to make coins in this game. I've have I have had to lock in a little bit on making some coins because I got to get these new players. But every now and then, what you'll see is you'll get these power up uh, players in these get a player packs, and it's pretty consistent. Like you're gonna pull a power up probably once every eight to twelve uh, pulls on this. I'm gonna pull power up, and once you see it's a silver, and you can kind of tell by the animation that you're gonna get, you can kind of tell what you're gonna get. And then you just keep rolling through. But anyways, guys, those are my best coin making methods. Again, I didn't come up with all of these. Honestly, most of these have come from me just doing my research on the game, asking good questions to people uh, in the Discord and things like that. So if you want to continue to grow, continue to learn, continue to get better at this game, this is something you're going to have to uh, participate in and start working on because you need coins to get the players. And with the NCS being on MUT this year, this is actually a very, very important conversation. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to join the Discord if you haven't already. And you can always send me a text message. My cell number is in the top left corner of the screen, 812-216-3644. Thanks, guys. We've got a couple more videos coming for you today. And we're also releasing uh, an updated version of our Arizona Offensive Guide this evening um, on our live stream. So be sure to come by at 10 o'clock Eastern time, and we'll see you there.